if you find yourself over a six, seven, eight, or eight foot putt and you're missing more often than you're holding them, don't necessarily think that it's a bad read on the greens. It could be a small but significant issue in the putting stroke itself. You know, one of my own students on the China LPGA Tour has this. I know Jessica Corder has mentioned this on her own social media as being an issue that she has. Now at a tall level, we're talking finite movements, but for them, it's a difference between holding the putt or lipping out. At club level, it can be the difference between holding the putt or missing by even so much as a cup width. And what we're talking about is something that relates to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The action of the putter swinging forward through impact causes the head and the center of the swing to move away from target. That creates a couple of different problems. Number one is that as the head is tilting, the eyes are shifting offline. So now my shoulders are going to follow and I'm more likely to have a face that's open to target and I'm gonna to miss to the right. If I do that enough times, my brain's gonna try and manipulate with my hands and I'm more likely to overcorrect and then I'll start missing to the left. The other problem is that I'm now moving the center of the swing away from the golf ball so the low point is behind impact and the club face is actually on an inclining swing decelerating by the time we get to impact so I'm losing control of my distance I'm also losing the loft angle so I'm hitting the ball up into the air and causing the ball to bounce and skid before it starts to roll again causing problem with distance and then I have that obvious face angle issue, so I lose distance and direction control. We can highlight this problem really, really simply with something like this. I'm not paid for using this. I buy this myself. It's the Eyeline laser cap, and it has a laser beam in the end here. So that when I get set up, although there is gonna be a little bit of movement because I'm not a robot, I'm gonna try my best to keep that laser beam positioned as stable as possible over the golf ball so that when I make the stroke, that laser beam stays in the same place. It's a really, really simple way of highlighting whether or not my head is stable or whether my laser beam and my eyes are following the golf ball and causing me to tilt and miss, as you've seen there, off to the right. If you don't have one of these, another way of doing the same thing would be to practice up against the wall. Place your head on the wall, take your stance, and then make the stroke. As if you were hitting the golf ball, then start over. Make the stroke as if you were hitting the golf ball. Don't randomly just swing backwards and forwards. That's not gonna achieve what we would do when we were actually hitting the golf ball on the putting green. Make a purposeful stroke. Stop and then start again. All the time your head is positioned in a stable position on the wall. If you feel it moving around it's going to feel the hair brushing against the wall. But also I'm now reiterating to my brain what muscles are acting during this movement. So I feel it here in my calves, I feel it just above my knees in my quads, and I feel it around my core. So one more time. Now I'm gonna come back to the putting green, or mat in this case. And when I get set up, I'm gonna try and feel those exact same feelings, here in my calves, here in my quads, around my core, so that now as I make that putting stroke, I've got a consistency of low point being at impact, so I've got correct speed, I've got consistency with stability in my head position and my eye line, so I'm not manipulating the club and moving it off plane, and my chances of holding that putt have increased. If you've got a problem holding putts from this range, don't think it's necessarily a bad read, check to make sure that your head and the center of your swing are stable over the top of the golf ball.